What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today I will show you another tutorial and today's topic is this. So we will create captions for your videos, so titles for in between your video or you can also use it as an intro. So pretty cool thing, looks awesome, modern, has a very stylish touch and will of course be added to my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle. So go and check it out up there. But now we are jumping right into LumaFusion. The first thing we are doing in LumaFusion is creating a new project and we are calling it Captions. I add tutorial just for my notes. And we are changing the frame rate to 30 FPS and open the project. And then we are adding a main title and changing the length to about 524 to exactly 524. Double tap to edit, delete the text and go back to your timeline. Now add another overlay title. Also change the length to 524. Then delete the text, add a shape and add the triangle and now go down to rotation and change the rotation to 180 degree and now we are changing the form factor of the triangle to a bit higher shape so it looks better like this and now we are centering it by X and Y, so let's go to 50, exactly like this. And then we are duplicating this layer two times and dragging it above each other. So one more time and again above each other. Then double tap to edit, delete the shape and add a square or rectangle and um, change the color to a mint green or whatever color you want to have. It's in your choice. I like the mint green stylish version and change the size to a bit smaller and center it in the triangle. Let's change the size so it looks better. Just follow my example for that one. And of course, we want to center it in, on the X axis as well. So go to 50, but not on the Y axis because it's too much in the middle and we want it in the middle of the triangle. So go a bit higher, maybe like this. That looks pretty good. Let's be precise. Okay, now go back to your timeline again and add another overlay title. Change the length again, double tap to edit. Go to your text and add your title. In this case, I like to write it with uh, big letters. Of course, you could choose a font which only includes captive titles who look clean like this, but I will choose Helvetica Condensed Black because I think it looks pretty good on this one. Center it in the rectangle and go back to your timeline. Now add again a overlay title but this is the last one. Change the length and of course double tap to edit. Now delete the text, add a shape. Oh no, add a text first, sorry for that. And edit the text and say like it's subtitle so this will be your subtitle change the font to Helvetica Neue Condense Black change the size so make it a bit smaller than the main title 
and change the face color to black. Where is it? Oh, right there. No. Yeah. Um, ah, yeah, there it is. Sorry, to black, and then add a shape. So it should be a rectangle. Change the color to yellow or any other color you want to use and change the size so it fits almost the subtitle. Now change the order so the title is in front of the rectangle and you can fit it perfectly. And now we have to change the length of all the layers. Yes, we have to change them all, but uh, it's faster that way, just trust me. We will start with the second layer and we will change the length so it starts at 120. Uh, let's be precise, 122. And we'll end at 410, 411. Ah, that's good. And now change the size of the third layer. And we will let it start at, let's have a look, so change the line, yeah. So, okay, let this, the second layer start at 120 and the third layer start at 110. And now we let the fourth layer start at 20 seconds. That looks good. And let the sixth layer start at 202. And now we have to make the endings. So the third layer has to end at 4 seconds 80. The fourth layer at 5 seconds 3. Oh. Four. Doesn't matter, it's one frame isn't that important and the sixth layer let it end at four around four seconds and that's fine. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's edit the second layer. And what we have to do is to go to cropping and add a keyframe at the first frame, then at the fourth frame a keyframe at the last frame, then go forward four frames, add another keyframe. And now, yeah, let's do it that way. Um, oh no, we have to do it the other way around. So let's start with right at 100% crop. And then go to the last frame and set it to left 100%. Now double tap the third layer to edit it. Go to title and change the color of the edges to white. Set the opacity of the face to zero. And now we have this nice triangle frame. Add a keyframe at the first frame. Go forward five frames at a keyframe. Go to the last frame, add a keyframe, go forward five frames and add another keyframe. And now go to crop and change it so it's top to 50 and bottom to 50 so it gets a nice reveal in these five keyframes and do the same on the last keyframe but just with left and right. Sorry, this is a lot of keyframing now but that's the way it works. Looks already pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay, now go to the fourth layer, so the green rectangle. Go to frame and fit and cropping. Oh no, to size and position. Add a keyframe at the first frame. Go forward four frames, add a keyframe. Go forward another two frames and add a keyframe. And do the same at the end, so a keyframe at the end. Go forward four frames, add a keyframe and two frames and add a keyframe. Then go to the four first keyframe, add the size to zero. 
Then go to the second keyframe, change the size to like 107 around, and then go to the last keyframe, or the keyframe before the last keyframe, go to 107 and set the last keyframe to zero. And that's it with the fourth layer, looks pretty cool right now. And let's add the title. This is kind of special, you will see right now. Add a keyframe at the first frame. And at the last frame. And then go forward four frames and two frames like before. And add keyframes. Set the size of the first keyframe to zero. Then add the size at the second keyframe to 100. 10 or 8, something around that. Then, of course, at the third keyframe to 100. Then at the keyframe before the last keyframe at 107 around. And the last keyframe at 0. Now, cut it right at the point where it stops moving. Like you see in my example. And this and the front and the end. Right, like this, double tap to edit, add the text, and set not the line spacing, but the opacity of the face color to zero, set the edge color to white, and change the width to a around two or three, four maybe, and repeat this with the last one, and of course, don't forget to add the short zoom as a nice effect. So now with the last one, Again, face opacity to zero, change edge color to white, change width to three or four. Like this, add the short zoom, and that's it. And now we have to edit the last thing. Of course, at first change the rotation of the subtitle frame. Drag it a bit up below the green rectangle and then go to frame and fit to the first frame at the keyframe. Go forward four frames, add a keyframe and two frames and add a keyframe and do the same at the end. I made a mistake here, so again, keyframe at four keyframes behind the first keyframe and then another two. And now change the size at the first keyframe, so it's pretty, pretty big, so like this. Then go to the second keyframe and reduce the size to about 90. And then go to the third keyframe and set it to 100. And repeat the same, just the opposite with the last one. So the fourth keyframe to 100. The fifth one to around 90. And the last one, just pretty big. So that's it. Now the effect is done. <laughs> Looks pretty, pretty cool. And the, the thing here is to save the um, project so you can change the titles in this effect and use it in multiple projects. So just keep your project edit the title when you need it, save it as a video file and drag it into your new the, the video into your project where you need it. And that's it. Of course, you can also add some sound effects to make it more crispy. Uh, but all in this was the tutorial, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the tutorial, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to activate the bell to don't miss any video in future. And if you haven't already checked out my LumaFusion Ultimate Bundle, it's up there. Go and check it out. It includes lots of transitions, effects, sound effects, lots, all you need for your editing. So go and check it out. And we will see each other in the next video. Till then, bye.